Hey, welcome back to another CCS vlog. We're going to do a little shop update. Right here, we've got a 67 Fairlane that had a lot of rust in it. The guys in the body shop have this thing completely disassembled. We've cut out most of the rust and replaced it with some nice new metal. The rockers were surprisingly solid given how much rust was in the rest of the car. But we've got new quarters, a new tail panel going in. The whole section on the bottom was completely shot. So that is now gone. We've got the new quarters on. We're going to use two doors. They're going to be original doors, but we need to get two new doors still. Uh, so we've done a lot of metal work so far. A couple patches in the bottom of the rockers, but like I said, they were pretty solid. And then I'll show you the floors. You open and hold up. All right. These floors were not pretty. In fact, you can see where they have just patched them up every single possible way. Look at this beautiful cut through there. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff, people. Luckily, oh wait, hold on. What's that? There's a big hole in the driver's side. Anyway. This car is going on a roadster shop chassis, so ultimately we're going to cut out the entire floor anyway and build new floors and a new trunk. So it doesn't really matter that the floor is really messed up because it's going bye bye. Uh, a lot of this stuff, including the shock towers on the front of the car, are also going to be removed because the roadster shop chassis is going to have a coilover set up and a totally different style of suspension. So. We were able to uh, do pretty well with it, despite the fact that we started off with kind of a mess on our hands. Uh, I don't remember if you saw in our last vlog, which was a little while ago, it is getting the Godzilla engine, which should be awesome. There's more and more parts coming out for that platform um, as we kind of move forward through this year. So we're excited about the new stuff that hopefully we'll be able to work with and implement into the build. In, this, in the paint booth right now, we have a 66 Chevelle. It sits on a roadster shop chassis. It has an LS3 engine. Um, all our cool metal fab inside the engine compartment. Mark has been knocking that, over the, knocking that out over the last uh, few months. So that's all completed. We have it now in base coat. Um, and then we'll go with another coat of base on top of it now that it's assembled. And then we'll clear it all assembled like this all together. Um, that gives us a nice uniform look. So this one's... Moving along, we already have the interior built for this car. We already have everything mocked up. So after it's out of paint, we'll be able to go right back in and do final assembly and start test driving it. So it's way further along than it actually looks right now. Um, again, we're gonna do another quick coat of base, clear the whole thing, and we should be ready to rock. Above me, we've got a 69 Corvair. It's a completely original restoration, unlike most of our custom jobs. Keep an eye out for a, another 69 we have coming down. It's got a twin turbo Nelson engine in it. But again, this thing is all original, same owner, last 35 years. We've done a complete rotisserie restoration on it. And Brian is working on the final install work right now. Just super clean, all original, really nice. We did the bottom in body color. They're usually done in kind of like a satin black with a mixture of undercoating in certain spots. But we decided to give the quality of the restoration, we wanted to give it a little extra flare so went in with some body color super clean this was almost a completely rust free car to start with just a teeny tiny bit in one of the headlight buckets but that was all so absolutely exceptional example and uh kind of a cool story the owner's been wanting to get this car restored for the last 25 30 years and we finally we're doing it, so we are almost done. Again, just doing the final assembly and hopefully have this thing on the road come springtime. 1956 Ford. This one's actually an F600, the big boy. And it's gotta be because we've got big plans for it. Anyway, we've done a lot of crazy metal work to this truck. Obviously, it was never a quad cab to start with, so that was the first thing we started doing. It used to be a big dump truck, um, but it was incredibly solid because it sat on a farm in Kansas, rust-free, super nice, and 
Scott and Mark have just been killing it on the metal work, which I will show you. So as you guys know, these don't have these nice rounded corners, but Scott decided that since the car had a lot of, a lot of other nice rounded corners, those probably shouldn't be nice and pointy. So he's got these all rounded out. Scott and Mark did a lot of work. Um, got the doors all flipped around, which is really cool. So, and then obviously, like I said, we've added this whole back section to make it a quad cab. So we've got a brand new back panel with the big window. And I'll show you these doors. They've been messing with the latches to really, these are upgraded latches, modern latching systems. So you know when you gotta slam those old cars and they don't shut? Well, look at this. I could do it with my pinky. Obviously, there's no seals on it at the moment, but this thing's awesome. So we've got poppers for the back. They latch the top and latch at the bottom. And then the front latches to the back door right in the middle. Again, a modern style door locking mechanism that's just closes perfectly like a new car. You actually have to get used to it because we're so used to these doors that just will not close. Um, inside, they've got all the floors built. And uh, we're about to start redoing the dash. Mark and Scott built all custom doors. These are all handmade in the back, except for the skin, which is cut down and moved around quite a bit. So had to make a lot of provisions in there for the window regulators. And now they are starting to work on the roof. They've got this nice roll put in here, kind of a little drip rail that they made. They were working on that Friday. So we're building the roof, which is gonna be cool. So coming together quickly. We've got the new bed metal mounted back here. So kind of cool to see it all come together. Don't fall, cameraman Tim. It's kind of cool to see it all come together and get mocked up. And then we're gonna start doing the chassis work in a few weeks. And at that time, we'll start reworking the whole back of the truck to smooth it out, give it some nice curves like the front of this truck has. We're gonna use these original front fenders, which are in okay shape. Got some dents, but we're gonna shorten them a little bit. And at that same time, just work out those dents and reuse those. So next time we talk, we'll probably be doing some chassis work and set up there. Hopefully we'll have the roof done and be working on the dash as well. So. This is a real exciting, we love trucks here, and this is a really exciting build, especially since it's a big boy dually. Bing. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, link, comment, share, notification bell, subscribe. See you next time. Thanks for coming to our YouTube page. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. If you want notifications, click on the bell. If you want to buy some cool merch, click on the info card, or you can click on the link in the bio.